what is difference between dbms and rdbms a simple questions trust me 95 people out of 100 will give you wrong answer get right answer from the expert hi this is samir sir with 37 plus year of experience in it certification training software and hardware in last 37 plus year i have completed some of the excellent microsoft certificates like microsoft certified trainers Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, Microsoft Certified IT Professional, Microsoft Certified System Engineer, Microsoft Certified System Administrator, Microsoft Certified Database Administrator, and Cisco CCNA. So when I say, what's the difference between DBMS and RDBMS? What 95 people out of 100 will give you wrong answer? They may give you answer something like this. They may say DBMS stands for DBA database management systems and RDBMS stands for relational database management systems. So in DBMS, you cannot relate data among database or table. And in RDBMS, you can relate data among database or table. This is a wrong answer. Why it's a wrong answer? We can very well relate data within multiple tables in databases in dbms not only within one database but among multiple databases. you can very well relate data in dbms too so this is a wrong answer the second wrong answer that people will tell you something like this you cannot develop multi-user applications with dbms you can develop multi-user applications only with rdbms this is also a wrong answer Trust me, we had developed hundreds of multi-user applications using DBMS software like DBase 3, DBase 4, Foxbase, Foxpro, under DOS operating system, Novel, Windows 3.11, Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows XP. And those DBMS multi-user projects work perfectly well from as old as 1986 till 2010. So this is also a wrong answer. The next wrong answer someone will tell you something like this. In DBMS, you cannot save large volume of data. You can save large volume of data only with RDBMS. This is also a partial wrong answer. Why partial wrong? In DBase, maximum number of records per table was 1 billion. Similarly, in FoxPro, it allowed a 256 fields or you can say columns per row. Maximum record length was 4000 bytes with maximum number of records per table was 2 billion. So 1 billion and 2 billion are not a small amount of data. So this is a partially wrong answer. Yeah, we can still large volume of data in RDBMS. So, now, as you understood the wrong answer, let's get the right answer from us. As we all know, DBMS stands for database management system and RDBMS stands for relational database management systems. So the first right answer. DBMS used to work in early 80s and 19 desktop environment. Whereas RDBMS works with latest client server environments. Next. It performs, that is DBMS perform all the database tasks at the client's end. Whereas RDBMS perform all the database tasks at server end. So let me explain it in detail. So when a user wants to search a database, let's say search table for a particular customer or city or state, what DBMS server used to do? The DBMS server used to transfer whole database along with the index over the network to the user desktop the client desktop then searches the informations on their own pc whereas in rdbms when a user wants to search a database let's say search a table with a particular customer or city or state a query something like this select master where customer is equal to tata or where city is equal to Mumbai or where state is equal to Maharashtra or something like that. So RDMA server will get a request from a client and server will read it and process the request. And 
सर्वर विल रिस्पॉन्ड टू द क्लाइंट रिक्वेस्ट विथ ओनली ए कॉपी और सबसेट ऑफ द डेटा दैट इज ओनली ए पार्शल पार्ट ऑफ द डेटा इन डी बी एम एस एक्चुअल डेटा एलोंग विद इंडेक्स इज कॉपीड फ्रॉम सर्वर टू द क्लाइंट वेर एज इन आर डी बी एम एस एक्चुअल डेटा एंड इंडेक्स नेवर लीव द सर्वर सो सो इफ ए लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ डेटा बेस along with the millions of records with the index file has to travel from dbms server to client for every search request it used to take lots of time in load on the network infrastructure whereas in rdbms in case of any query rdbms server will perform all the database search and all other operation on server the final results of the data is sent to the clients as the data set is a subset of the data it's a network friendly and very user friendly and low on the load so assume that you have got dbms server and your clients like this whereas here it's a case of rdbms server and the client like this these are all your database and index files so when a user or when a clients search for any query full database along with the index travel from server to client like this to this users again if someone asks same all the database along with the complete sets of the index is travel from the dbms server to the clients where is in rdbms for every search query only limited subset of the data travels so when a a client ask for any informations from rdbms server only a subset of the data is sent from server to the clients so as you can understand in dbms it takes lots of load in time on the network infrastructure whereas here it's a user friendly network friendly next as a number of client grow the amount of data being transported over the network increases and for every client request the full database needs to transfer from client this leads to decrease in performance whereas in rdbms only a subset of data is transfer over the network it doesn't generate much load on the network in early 80s and 90 the speed of the network was 10 mbps and which was working and connected using ethernet bus topology all those who people are interested in learning network topology can go through my other videos which i'll be uploading in few days the 10 mbps ethernet bus topology was the main culprit and was main cause of decrease in the performance whereas today the minimum network speed is 100 mbps it goes up to 1 gbps and even more if you are using fiber optics with a star topology so there is no bottleneck and there is no speed issue when we are using rdbms technology as a rule of thumb dbms database applications were good for about 20 to 50 users whereas for rdbms it works well with thousands to millions of concurrent users and there is no limitations of user as such for dbms there can be exceptions to about rule like 20 to 50 users but at one or other point it becomes very slow due to network conjunction issue the best example of rdbms and this is a internet there are thousands to millions of concurrent users with a multi user functionality using rdbms server all at a time some of the example of dbms are access from microsoft dbase which was developed by ascent tech foxbase was developed from fox corporation foxpro was later acquired by microsoft in 1992 and it was renamed to visual foxpro there are some of the examples of rdbms are ms sql server from microsoft oracle from oracle corporations db2 from ibm mysql it was developed from open source 
from Swedish company and now bought by Oracle. HANA from SAP, Amazon RDMS, Post GRE SQL and SQL Lite. So I hope you have got the right answer for the difference between the DBMS and RDBMS. Thank you. And if you have got any query, please subscribe the channel and ask your query in the comments and I'll try to answer it as fast as possible. Thank you.